else. Nobody knows what's the best for you, but you. So continue doing what feels good. All right. Um, I've already been a husband and a father, failed at both. How do you fail at all that? How do you fail at being a husband and how do you fail at being a father? I don't know. You have to explain that a little better to me. Uh, you're not a failure because you're divorced. How do you fail at being a father? Let me guess. Uh, you got divorced and your wife or ex made it difficult to see your kids or something like that? Is that me getting close to it maybe? Just out of curiosity. Who knows? I don't blame women. I blame the unrealistic expectations we are taught in modern society. Well, that's very big of you. Um, you know, it could be... I think maybe like a lot of a lot of guys don't realize when they're married just their girl gets tired of him and once she's tired of you she's probably gonna like look for a way to um, to like get you out of you the picture basically so <laughs> this could include you know setting you up to get someone uh, affair this cheat this that could be uh, something on the entrapment tip maybe she's friends with the local man. Maybe she likes to just call the cops and the feds for no fucking reason. Maybe she uh, wants to go talk to the family court people and have some words with you, with them about you and the kids. And maybe all sorts of stories get made up. I don't fucking know. How did you feel at being a father and a husband? I don't know. But I'm just assuming. Anyway, unrealistic expectations. Yeah, whatever. I mean, again... I don't know what this American or Canadian society teaches people, really. I grew up here. I grew up in America or whatever. But, I mean, it's still, like, I don't feel like... Uh, I'm not with a lot of the shit that I guess a lot of American people are with. Um, yeah, I just have a completely different set of values i guess i mean people do what's important to them and you live everyone basically I, I suggest live life by your own rules so long as you don't hurt anybody in the process or whatever or use anybody very important you know as long as you have an equal push pull whatever kind of exchange with people in general you'll be on good terms with pretty much everybody you know you can't please everybody but you know you can try you could at least be fair you know fair honest straightforward good enough most of the time more than 90% of the time, I'd say. Most people are good people. Most people can uh, reciprocate shit. Some can't. You gotta find out who those are. All right, next comment. You're 40, Samuel Pichardo, one year ago. No, I'm 41, almost 42. Next comment. Tyler Durdent, one year ago. Bro, it's a very good video, very honest thinking. Well, thank you, sir. And what else? Any other comments? That does it. That's a wrap for that video. So, wow, that's a total of 46 dislikes and 13 likes. That top video was a reply to MGTOW problems and MGTOW flaws. Uh, I did this video over a year ago in uh, Thailand, and that was that. So, thanks for watching, and I will get back to the comments when I have time. It might be a while. I'm busy. I got a lot of shit to do, but when I get around to it, I will respond to the comments individually. If you do need a faster reply or response, I'm sure there's some way that you could pay me or support me or buy some of my movies, etc. You guys go look up The Shimmy Show, hashtag The Shimmy Show, or me, Shimmy Cash, Shimmy.cash, and you'll find links to all my shit and whatever. If you want to support me in that way or get my attention, the best way is to purchase my movies. Yeah. All right. So other than that, I'll get back to you when I get back to you. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Bye.